Hi students, today we will be solving question number 6 from the MSc CMI data science question paper for the year 2018. So this question basically came in the part B which is the subjective part of the paper. So let us start off with question number 6. Now in question number 6 it has been given that a 4 digit number is represented as ABCD that is a into 10 cube b plus b into 10 square plus c into 10 plus d where a is not equal to 0 now suppose the number dcba is obtained by reversing the digits of abcd and the number dcba which is obtained is 9 times the number abcd in that case we need to find out the number abcd also one thing that you need to be careful about is a is not equal to 0 so now, when we reverse the 4 digit number ABCD, we get the number DCBA. So DCBA is also a 4 digit number. Okay, and it has been mentioned that the number DCBA is equal to 9 times the number ABCD. Okay, so the greatest 4 digit number that can uh, show, so thereby, DCBA can be DCBA max to max it will be equal to 9999 and ABCD can be max simum 1111 all the four digits can be equal to 1 in this case but as you can see this is, not a, a, this is the case so now it has been said over here so thereby as you can see from the condition thereby that a must be therefore less than equal to 1 so the first condition that we get is that therefore a is less than equal to 1 because if suppose a is equal to 2 you suppose if a is equal to 2 in that case a b c d will be suppose uh, a b c d will be always we can say that this will be greater than equal to 2000 and in that case 2000 into 9 will be equal to 18,000 which is not not a four digit number it is a five digit number so therefore the first condition that we'll get is that a is less than equal to 1 now a cannot be less uh, a cannot be equal to 0 but it has been given that a is not equal to 0 so if a is not equal to 0 and a is less than equal to 1 so therefore we are left with only one condition is that a is equal to 1 okay so this is the condition so a is equal to 1 this is the first condition now we go to the second condition now second condition is that we have already found that b should be also b should be equal to 1 max to max b must be equal to 1 so b is also less than equal to 1 this is also another condition that we have got from here okay so there now we do not know whether b is equal to 0 or b is equal to 1 so we have to check for both of these cases so the first case that we'll check over here is that b is equal to 1 so if b is equal to 1 then our a b c d will look somewhat like 1 1 c d 1 1 c d okay so this is the structure of the ABCD that we are getting. Fine. And now, so we get the structure for ABCD. So now if we find out DBCA, so DBCA will look somewhat like D1C1. Or even you can say that this entire thing will be reversed. So now, now this DBC is nothing but D into A, B, C, D. Okay. So basically, if you multiply D into 9, then you get 1 as the unit digit. So that can only be possible if D is equal to 9. Okay. This structure must be equal to 9. Because 9 into 9 is 81. So 1 will be unit digit. It will come over here. In any other case, that is not possible. So that leaves us with another um, another uh, finding that D is equal to 9. Okay, D is equal to 9. So if D is equal to 9, so that means our A, B, C, D looks somewhat like E11, C9. So this is our structure. Okay, 11, C9. 
सो इफ नाउ वी मल्टीप्लाई वन वन सी नाइन सो वन वन सी नाइन इंटू नाइन बेसिकली ए बी सी डी इंटू नाइन दिस गिव्स अस नाइन सी वन वन नाइन सी वन वन सो इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई अपॉन दिस वी बेसिकली गेट दैट नाइन सी प्लस एट मस्ट हैव मस्ट हैव यूनिट डिजिट इक्वल टू वन ओके बिकॉज अपॉन मल्टीप्लीकेशन इफ यू डू इलेवन सी नाइन इंटू नाइन इफ यू डू दैन नाइन इंटू नाइन यू गेट ए वन ओवर हेयर देन यू गेट एट ओवर हेयर टू नाइन सी दिस विल बी नाइन सी प्लस एट ओके नाइन सी प्लस एट एंड देन फाइनली यू गेट सम नंबर एंड फाइनली यू हैव ए नाइन ओवर हेयर ओके सो नाइन सी एट दिस नाइन मस्ट हैव ए यूनिट डिजिट ऑफ वन बिकॉज इन दैट केस वी आर गेटिंग दिस स्ट्रक्चर सो नाइन सी एट मस्ट भी इक्वल टू वन यूनिट डिजिट मस्ट भी इक्वल टू वन ऑफ दिस स्ट्रक्चर as you can see over here this and this you have to compare and this leads us to this very statement over here okay i hope you have understood so that means if 9c plus 8 has a unit digit of 1 so that means that basically 9c must have must have 3 as the unit digit as the unit digit so 9c has 3 as the unit digit so therefore that definitely means that c will be equal to 7 because 9 into 6 only gives uh, gives 63 which has 3 as the unit digit okay so c is equal to 7 in that case so in that case our a b c d now becomes 1179 let us find in doubt what happens when we multiply 1179 with 9 so 1179 into 9 this gives us 9 into this 8 81 9 63 then 8 we get another uh, one over here okay so this is 9 63 70 so okay 9 then we get another 6 and finally we get 10611 which is not a four digit number but a five digit number so b equal to 1 does not gives us any solution b equal to 1 has we can write over here no solution so we'll go to the next case which will be that b equal to 0 so second case in this um, problem will be we'll consider when b is equal to 0 so b is equal to 0 we have already found out that a b c d in that case will become 1 0 1 0 C and we have already found out that D is also equal to nine. So now, if we multiply this by nine, so we get so we get nine C plus eight. This this should have nine C plus eight. This should have unit digit. This should have unit digit equal to one. Okay, this should have unit digit equal to one. Okay, I committed mistake. I have done a mistake over here. Let me rephrase it. So we have got A B C D, which is of the structure one zero six nine. So this one zero six nine, when we multiply by nine, basically we multiply nine into A B C D. So basically one zero six nine into nine. This gives us D C B A, which is of the structure nine C zero one. So as you can see over here, nine c plus eight. Since we have nine plus nine, this will be eighty one. One comes over here and eight comes over. So nine c plus eight, nine c plus eight has unit digit thereby equal to zero. So if nine c plus eight has unit digit equal to zero, so that basically means that c is equal to eight. Because if c is equal to eight, then we get nine into c. Um, basically, it is what we can say. Or we can say that if nine c plus eight has unit digit equal to zero, that means the nine c has unit digit equal to two. So if nine c has a unit digit equal to two, so that basically means that c is equal to eight because nine to seven, nine to eight is equal to seventy two, and we have two as the unit digit. So c is equal to eight over here. So now if we multiply, so we have got that a b c d is of the structure one zero eight nine. So what happens when we multiply one zero eight nine into nine? So one zero eight nine into nine gives us nine into nine we have eighty one eight. Nine into eight we have 
72 plus 8 one other 0 over here and 8 goes over here so we have 8 over here and 9 into 1 okay so if we reverse this we get 9 at 0 1 which is our D C B A the reverse number so the number that we are looking for in this case so if we are supposed to find out the four digit number ABCD so that would be 1089 and this is the answer that we are looking for so this is a fairly long problem I hope I have been able to explain to you the process that I have here incorporated in solving this problem if you have any doubt regarding the process that I followed so far in any step you have uh, you are stuck in any step then you can comment in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you and help you out thank you very much